My name is Katrina O'Reilly and I am the Arts Officer uh, with Cavan County Council and in the Arts Office we have uh, the Public Art Manager Rhonda Tidy and uh, Nerissa Cosgrove who is the Clerical Officer and that is the current complement of staff in the Arts Office. So our work really is developmental work um, and in our most recent strategy inclusivity and ambition our four priorities are supporting artists, encouraging audiences to engage with the arts, ensuring that we have adequate infrastructure um, for the arts, so lovely buildings like Town Hall Cavan is a priority for us. And then the other priority is to support diversity. Um, I suppose our, our place here on the border uh, makes us a particularly interesting and diverse place and I think we have a very rich arts offer here in the county and I think that is very much influenced uh, by the landscape and the geography and the history of the place that we inhabit. The Town Hall Cavern is described as a, an arts and craft style um, building. It has regional heritage significance so it is an important building in the town, in the county and in the entire area. The Town Hall was built on a site uh, donated by uh, Lord Farnham. This was all part of the Farnham Gardens. So this building and the tennis courts, the lawn tennis courts that were outside, were donated um, by Lord Farnham when that situation uh, was relevant here in Cavan. The um, building initially was intended for the entertainment and the enlightenment of the people. There was ice skating in here, it served as a place for the local elections, for, for the voting. Um, the town council, so the local form of, uh, of government, um, had their offices here and also um, the town councillors sat here in, in the chambers of all and made decisions that were relevant to the town. So it has been a hugely important part of the cultural and the civic life of the town and of the wider county for a long time. Cavan Drama Festival, one of the oldest drama festivals on the cusp of celebrating its 75th anniversary, has run the festival here for most of those um, almost 75 years. Uh, other organisations like the musical societies that were very rich in the town at one time, they had their, um, their meetings here. And back uh, in 2014, um, a group of artists uh, approached the Cavan Arts and Culture Centre Limited, which was a company that was interested and has been for a long time motivating for a dedicated arts centre for the county town. And so the Cavan Arts and Culture Centre Limited, when they established themselves, back in 1999 were interested in finding a place for the arts, a permanent home for the arts in the county town. Um, so they, working with the artist group formerly um, from Gonzo and uh, Transart, they came together and they set up a new um, new members of the company and they moved in here and they worked here for three years really re-envisaging the way that the building uh, was used. The town council had been uh, dissolved as part of the local government um, improvements and the artists were able to come here and really uh, I suppose they didn't live in the building but it was like they, they breathed new life into the building and they totally changed the way that we as arts audience interacted with the building and actually that we saw it and they changed the way that artists used the building as well. Of course we've had the amazing um, festivals of the dead that happened here and off site as well out in the sea house and out around the town so they did that work and then they did really interesting visual arts work as well in that they used the whole auditorium and the rest of the building as well to uh, give us the, the kind of the feeling of the arts installation and being immersed in um, the visual arts experience but I think that group the Cavan Arts and Culture Centre Limited really buoyed up by the, um, the Gonzo and Transart uh, really you know, were the catalyst for this new life that the that the town hall is now embarking on. So Cavan County Council, with the Cavan Arts and Culture Centre Limited, we made an application to uh, the Department of Culture Heritage and the Gael Thugden. One of the best days uh, of my life in the Arts Office was when then Minister for Arts, uh, Heather Humphreys, came here and announced that we had got one of the big grants and we had got 750,000 for the refurbishment of this building. 
and Cavan County Council have matched that and we were also lucky to get um, peace funding from the SEUPB uh, and that was really because of our position on the border and the work that we have done um, in peace over many years and the work that Cavan County Council um, and the peace officer and the peace team there have been involved in. That was how we were able to uh, restore the building. Um, much work was needed obviously we had a lot of leaks we had a lot of problems with the um, physical structure because the building was originally built in 1907 and bits and pieces had been done in the interim but um, most of that work its its life had passed and its sell by date was over uh, so Vivian McCauley was the contractor who came in here and I think um, he has done a great job, he had fantastic people uh, working with him and he really understood and really understands the nature of conservation work and how important it is to respect the old but also to try and accommodate the new and, and what we will need um, into the future. So it was a big restoration project but the main aim is that it is an arts centre um, for the town, the county and the wider region and it needs to serve the artist in the first instance because without artists to make and envision and to think and to create, there is no arts. So we're lucky, we have lots of fantastic artists in the county and the challenge for us is to keep those artists here. Artists are very badly paid. They have to find other bits and pieces, they have to scrabble around for work and to support themselves. Um, so that's part of our job is to try and help the artists to stay in the county. And this building needs to be a home for those artists and offer them a place of refuge and a place from which to create from. And I'm very excited about the possibility of the work that artists, not only from Cavan or from Ireland, but international artists who we will hopefully host here in Cavan, will be able to come and to use those, those spaces. But artists need an audience, so they need somebody to see their work, to appreciate it, to hate it, to love it, to respond to it. So the audience, you know, who's going to come in here, who's going to fill all these seats and go and look at the artwork and perhaps buy some of it. The audience is very important. And that's not just about the audience who come into the building, but the wider audience who engage online and on new platforms. Currently, we are very concerned about meeting people in their place. So not everybody can come here maybe not as physically or mentally able as some of the rest of us to engage with the arts. We need to be able to facilitate those people as well. And we have in the Arts Office over the past two years um, made a lot of progress in arts and health. And I would hope that that is work that we will be able to continue to facilitate and that this building will offer us support in that way. So for the future, we have many great ideas and we have ways we want to work. Over the past year, Cavcat Council has engaged a, a consultant to research the arts offer in the county, the cultural offer in the county, and the buildings we have and the way we, the council, work um, in those buildings from an arts perspective. So that lady, Mary McAuliffe, has provided us with a roadmap, with the skeleton, with the bones of ideas and suggestions about where we might go um, into the future. We very much want to hold on to the ethos of the arts group. We also need to hold the older energy of the likes of the Drama Festival and the Musical Societies and those other organisations and drama groups and visual arts and organisations from the county who have used this building and who are interested in making art um, in Cavan. So we need to, to facilitate them into the future as well. We have the studio spaces. I think they need to support artists who are making relevant work work that is of interest at this time. We need um, artists who are speaking to our location, our geographic location, and artists who are, you know, dwelling deep in their own mind and have their own ideas. Yeah, we have a roadmap. We have the skeleton. So we need to pad out the skeleton. We need to find the pieces in the map. Okay, so we have a number of projects that are already happening. The Cavan Drama Festival is coming up hard and fast. It's happening from the 20th to the 28th of March. So that's soon um, approaching. The Nya Festival is happening. So the Nya uh, in Mar will be here on stage on the 28th of February. Uh, obviously later on in the summer then in May, we have the Cavan Arts um, Festival. So Kim McCafferty and her committee will 
populate Town Hall with interesting programme for that. Um, in July, we're delighted to say we have the Ulster Fla um, coming to Cavan. That's very much the importance of our tradition, um, the language, the dance, the spoken word, and of course the music and song as well. And then in August, we have the um, Cavan Calling event. So that's a real opportunity for us to engage with our diaspora, for people who feel connected to Cavan or who are connected through their genealogy to Cavan, for them to come back to be part of um, what we're doing now in arts and culture and in the, the life of the county and also to bring back maybe some of their experiences and what they have learned from, from their lives elsewhere and uh, to share that with us 20th to the 23rd of August and then back into September I suppose it's back to more uh, traditional theatre, um, the three acts you know, the groups will be starting to uh, ready themselves for that. This lovely work here, um, created by uh, the sculptor Marie Smith, she facilitated a project here um, entitled uh, A Day in the Life of a Border Town, which was part of Culture Night 2019. The participants who worked on that project with Marie um, were interested in, in looking at Cavan and, and its space and how it's relevant to us now. And, what the town um, means to people. Obviously the Hacklers will be here with more work that they will uh, take from the Dermot Healy um, canon. We have lots of asks, we just need to fit those in around the bones and shape it and see what the offer will be from, from the centre out I suppose. Well I know that over the course of the next few months many people will come in here because they're curious and I hope they'll be delighted by what they see and I'm sure plenty of them will have some suggestions about things that we that we can do and that will uh, shape and support and develop the arts and that's great too so I'm really looking forward to seeing lots of people in the building, uh, seeing lots of artists using the building and hearing about uh, how we can continue to make great artwork here in Cavan. Thank you.